for this recipe I'm using 150 grams caste sugar, 6 egg yolks with 6 egg whites, a pinch of salt and a tablespoon full lemon juice, a pinch of cream of tartar, 100 milliliters milk and 20 grams corn flour or potato flour, then 60 grams plain flour, 50 grams butter and one Philadelphia cream cheese. So this is my method of doing this cream cheese um, cake. For that I'm using a pot of water, half a pot and in, on, on it put a bowl, a Pyrex bowl or even a stainless steel one and then into that add the cream cheese then the butter and then the milk and simmer this until this melts completely. Now in a separate bowl add the egg whites into that add a pinch of cream of tartar and then a little bit of sugar leave the rest you can add the sugar while mixing so start mixing it it has to come to a soft peak so while mixing add the sugar it's ready now and it has to hold the shape but it it's not be stiff it has to be like in soft peak so take it out so after doing that on water bath, the cream cheese butter and milk, it looks like this. So keep on stirring for a while and take it out and leave it aside. Now into the cream cheese mix, I add that into a mixing bowl. Add the egg yolks, then the salt, just a pinch of salt. So put the egg yolks and mix it really well after it looks like this take the mixing bowl out and then into that add the flour and the corn flour and sift that into the egg yolks and the cream cheese mix And after use a spatula or a whisk like this then it won't mix very well so just stir it well to combine adding the lemon juice into that after it will look like this make sure that you don't over mix it at all so now into the egg whites I'm going to add the egg yolk mix in several batches and slowly fold it over like this don't do it uh, quickly or even um, mix well but it has to be like a folding um, method like this so after it will look like this then I have this uh, baking tray with a baking paper underneath but this is a very good non-stick one. So if you are not using a non-stick pan make sure that you cover the um, edges too and slowly pour it over. So after it looks like this. Now make sure at this point the oven is preheated to 200 and bake this on 200 about 10 minutes and after that reduce the um, temperature to 135 and cook it until a skewer inserted comes out clean so when you bake this make sure that there is a water bath underneath so always put um, half of a tray filled with water um, in the bottom of the oven so the Japanese cotton cheesecake is ready and I just took it out from the oven. So I um, bake this about one hour after uh, reducing the temperature to 135. So this is how it looks like. So I'm going to leave it in the tray about five minutes and take it out and leave it on a wire rack to cool down completely. 
and this is how it looks like it's really soft and moist okay try this to get the recipe visit culinarycorner.net thank you for watching